Hey, Crystal. My lads are by your Judah how you know. Let me help you with I that. I got this one, Prim. One more in the truck. Whoa! Back at SD. Must have been a good day. Off a Kaninimu, what'd you catch? Oh, you know, a sunburn and a bunch of ice. Holy a tulai. Girl, we're gonna need more ice. Maulik Badamu, you did well. If you think this is good, you should see my good days. Oh, Pada Pumana Dosa. Stop showing off. Mother Ocean was generous to you today. Satyam Bientao, because you aren't greedy. If you think this is good, you should see the Batu Ngojeri caught. He's cleaning it right now, and he's going to bring over some steaks for the stand later. Batu, huh? Taimana de Nongkalunya. How big was it? Taller than you. Sounds like Guian stories to me. Now let's put up the sign and sell some fish. Before the sun rises, we set out to sea. Ta ta ta, si ta ta ta, si. We'll never take any more than we need. Ta ta ta, si ta ta ta, si. Fresh a two light, fresh fresh a two light, fresh a two light, fresh fresh a two light. Fresh a two like fresh a two like fresh fresh a two. We have love and respect for Nanani Tasi. Ta 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 si ta ta ta. We'll pass on this tradition and faithful will be. Ta 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 si ta 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 si. Fresh a two like fresh fresh a two like fresh a two like fresh fresh a two like fresh a two like fresh fresh a two like fresh a two like fresh fresh a two like fresh a two like fresh fresh a two like. Fresh too, like fresh, fresh too, like. Mrs. Pangolinan. Pop to Talutati. Come back again. Hasi Azu, who is that? That's Tambeza Pangolinan. Her grandfather and our great grandfather were once the Tinsulu experts of the Song Song. Tinsulu, Dinancy? Yep. Using the Tinsulu, Toru Tatogi Song Song will come out to help catch a large school of Guyan. Some Munga Malafa, some would go to whoever was in need. Ginef Tao's always been a big part of our fishing tradition. Hey, Crystal? Yeah? Do you ever wonder how our ancestors caught fish before all our modern fishing tools and boats? Strange that you ask, Will. Because... Because... Because I'm actually 1,000 years old and I know exactly how it happened. Really? Wow! You should have told me before now. Half a moon, but and now, what was it like? Malago Zubai or Tungo Toda? I want to know everything. Are you for real? No. But Grandpa told me all about our ancient fishing practices and Utaite Pura to Siha. I've read about them in books. Oh. You know, thousands of years ago, Itasi Kamoni Tautauta Paraguahan, the ocean brought our people to Guam. And as they settled throughout the Chamorro Islands, Itasi no mafan lalas here. The ocean provided for them. As in a sen importanti nata respecta Itasi. That's why it's so important that we respect our ocean. We come from a long, long tradition of fishing, 
that's been passed down from generation to generation. Sing on his upa now. Tell me about it. I think that I will. Well, our ancestors believed that everything was sacred. That's why they asked permission before entering into the jungle or into the ocean. Matungo nama sostiani hitni tano zani tasi. They understood that the land and the ocean provided for us. And so, when it came to fishing, they asked permission and respected the ocean and the animals that live there. Nango and Ratu, Crystal. Nango and Ratu. Our ancestors didn't wear clothes like that back then. Focus, Will. I'm talking about fishing methods, not fashion. Ekungok, our ancestors had three main fishing methods. Hook and line, net, and fiska or spear. In the hook and line method, Fish hooks were made from oyster shells or tortoise shells, and sometimes from fish bones. The hook and line method was used close to shore and for deep sea fishing with kalaidi or canoes. Net fishing was also practiced in the deep sea or close to shore. Net fishing might often have involved the village or a team of people. Our ancestors were also masters of the fiska or spear. Fishing with the fiska was called katoksa or etoksa if you were spear fishing while skin diving. And those were the three main methods of fishing used by our ancestors. Hook and line, net, and fiska or spear. Munga Mama Lefa, there were other ways of fishing commonly used by a woman, like fishing with your hands or taka. How Sangangizu Sinana, that this way was practiced inside the reef. Usually, Zang and Mati Tasi at low tide, they would follow a guihan and grab it, or wait by a hole and grab the guihan when it went out or came in. There was also umefomo, using a guagua or a woven basket filled with rocks to catch fish that hide in the rocks. Our ancestors knew a lot more about the ocean than we do. They even had a special method of fishing gihemhom at night with a torch, matungu esti takumu sulu. The torch not only allowed them to see in the darkness, but it also attracted fish. One of the most impressive ways of fishing was from a glidey. Our ancestors would catch small and large fish from the glidey. They had many unique methods of fishing from their glidey. Several of these methods seem unique to our people. Grandma told me about two of these. One method was for catching lugwa or parrotfish. Using a weighted net and a live tethered fish, they would lure the other fish to the surface. The other method used an atsuatsuman or a large stone sinker tied to an inverted half-empty haiguas. The pescador or fisherman would chew coconut meat and place it into a small hole in the haiguas. Over the course of a few days, this method would train the fish to feed closer and closer to the surface until they were finally caught with a net. She's talking fish business. You've got your pelagic fish who swim in the open ocean. Those cool cats come and go as they please. Tosun. It's a big fish, also known as Wahoo. 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 It's so good to eat. Be careful, it has sharp teeth that can cut like a hot knife through butter. Butter, 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 butter. Then you've got all those delicious reef fish. The little kichu. It's black, then white, then black, then white, then black, then white, then black, then. You catch those with a chinchu or a talaza. Then there's the great god owl. Megalohigi tassi. It can be red or striped or brown or multicolored. And an oh so large mouth and oh so small teeth. Gotta watch out for these. They have long sharp spines. And they're oh so dangerous. Even the sharks know how to leave these cats alone. Be cool, says the shark. I'm only passing through. Be cool, says the shark. 
be way down blue cool. Let's not forget little E.E. E.E. -E. E -E. We call it E.E. -E as a child. But the teen we call trouble and its name is Tadakitu. And as the little Tadakitu grows himself to be a big bad fish, we call him or her Mamula. Big Mama Mamula. These hip fish daddies have silver bodies, some with spots, some with bands, with sharp octopus cutting fins. Did you just say it cuts an octopus? Yeah, totally. I mean, yeah, it totally can, dude. And these are just some of the many, many fish of the Tomorrow Islands. Dun, dun, da 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 Well, what are you playing with? Ee, Ini. This is Ee, or Baby Skipjack. Ee? Who? Some people catch Ee with Salaza inside the reef. Zangaluma donklu Ee. As the Ee grows, she becomes a Tarakitu, or juvenile Skipjack. And when the Tarakitu grows up, she's called Mamulan. Which is typically caught in schools with Taladza. As adults, they're called Sezun and they're usually caught inside the reef. Fish go to school? Uh, uh, here's a goldfish. As nannies, he's called a tiao. As an adult, he's called Satmanetti. Yummy. Some people catch ee -e with Taladza inside the reef and then it gets older. Sarakitu, so yummy to eat. And when it's full grown, it's Mamulan. Tarakitu, ee -e. Some people catch ee -e with Taladza inside the reef. Hey, Will. Don't forget about the goldfish called T.L. When it's just a nanny and when it gets older, it gets a new name. Satmonetti. Then there's this other fish called Manyahak. Some in schools in the sea. When it grows up, we call it Sezun. Gofmangi. Some people catch E.E. -E with Taladza. Inside the reef, and when it gets older, it's had a key to so yummy to eat. And when it's full grown, it's mamoon and had a key to eat. -e. Some people catch ee -e with salaza inside the reef. Don't forget about the goldfish called Tia when it's just a nanny. And when it gets older, it gets a new name. Satmonetti, then there's this other fish called Manyahak, swims at schools in the sea. When it grows up, we call it Sedzen. Where's the Finadeni? Another one of my food favorites is Batagui, or Mahi Mahi. Kuantunga, did you know that they can reach speeds over 50 miles per hour and jump as high as 20 feet when hunting or trying to evade predators? They also have really huge and distinct foreheads like me. Itagafi ununi gof zahu, or red snapper. These fish can live up to 100 years old. Magahe gof zahu lagwa, or palaxi, and not just because it's colorful. Many types of parrotfish secrete a mucus cocoon at night to help mask their scent from predators. The term palaxi means slippery, and parrotfish are very palaxi, especially when they're covered in mucus. The term lagwa means net. This refers to the net-like mucus cocoon they secrete. A mucus cocoon? Ooh, awesome! Batagui, I'm so fast I almost fly. I have a huge forehead and I jump real high. Batagui, I'm so fast I almost fly. I have a huge forehead and I jump real high. I'm Tagafi. I can live to be 100 years old, isn't that crazy? I'm Tagafi, 
I can live to be 100 years old, isn't that crazy? I'm colorful. Who am I? I, I wrap myself in mucus when I sleep at night. Call me Lagua or Palazzi. I taste real good with Benedetti. Call me Lagua or Palazzi. I taste real good with Benedetti. Patagui, Tagafi, Lagua, Palazzi, Patagui. Tagafi, Lagua, Palaxi. What fish am I, Crystal? What fish am I? Uh, Tia uh, Tsungu, I don't know. Just tell me already. Wahoo, see Mafuti. I'm a Mafuti or Emperor Snapper. Don't let these sweet lips fool you. My dorsal fins are sharp and spiny. I kind of look like a mohawk. Get in my belly. There is also the guili or the rudderfish. They have these bands that go up and down their bodies that slowly disappear over time and can't be seen in large rudderfish. Wahushima Futi, the emperor snapper. Don't let these sweet lips fool you. Wahushima Futi, the emperor snapper. Don't let these sweet lips fool you. I have several bands that run up and down my body. They gradually disappear over time. Some people call me Rudderfish, but please call me Queenie. Jeez, it's so hard to make these songs rhyme. So we've talked about reef fish, but there are many kinds of open ocean fish that we catch, like the swordfish or batu, which can grow up to 15 feet long. Yup, and it gets its English name from its long, flat bill that resembles a sword. Batu, 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 ching, ching, ching. One of the more common open ocean fish are mackerel or tulai, which have donkulonautoduxia and bony-type fins. They often travel in large schools. Birds are a good indicator of a tulai. Everyone in their nana sells a tulai out of their pickup truck. Have you seen that, Femagun? The atsumen or the mackerel scad are similar to a tulai. Atsumen aren't a food favorite, but they can be used to bait bigger fish. Bigger fish, like the tosun or wahoo. These fish can grow up to 10 feet long, and their meat is known as a delicacy in many places around the world. And they can even be bought in a can. In a can? Why would you buy in a can if you can go fishing or buy local? You're right, Will. But you know what's a delicacy to me? Bonita or skipjack tuna. These fish have lines on their bellies and spikes at their tail, and they commonly travel in schools. Ooh, that's a good one. Another great one is a yellowfin tuna. These fish have very distinct yellow tails and blue and silver bodies. They can grow to be quite large, reaching weights of up to 440 pounds. Whoa! Pues, Taimanu and Song and Yellowfin Tuna Gifino tomorrow. How do you say Yellowfin Tuna in tomorrow? Nanga Pada adds it will. Wait for it. Yellowfin Tuna Gifino tomorrow. Yellowfin Tuna. Swordfish in Chimoro. Batu. Ching, ching, ching. How do you say mackerel in Chimoro? Hold on. Let me think, think, think. A tulai. That's the word. If you want to catch them, just follow the birds. Want to catch big fish? It's not too late. Try using a tuna. They make real good bait. Hope I catch a big toss and I just can't wait. They're a delicacy because they taste so great. What's the word for skipjack tuna? Bonita. Yummy. Here, Bonita, I want to meet ya. It tastes so good in my tummy. And yellowfin tuna can grow to be almost 500 pounds. Whoa there, that's a lot of pounds. Okay, now slow down, Brown. Tomorrow word for yellowfin tuna is? I don't know. I thought you knew. I thought you knew. 
No, I Google searched it and I even asked Nana and my family up north in Luta. No one knew. Well, if your Nana doesn't know, then who would know? Crystal, go to Nyaling Zoo. We should go eat. Pedro's barbecuing Tataka by the beach. I don't think you want any of that, Tataka. I hear he's been using dynamite to catch those fish. Using dynamite? But that kills the reef and the seahorses and the starfish. I thought he was a responsible fisherman. Using dynamite is illegal, right? Who are you calling? The police? Better than that, his grandma. Hello? Auntie Loling, si wosti. Hafa tatat manu hao? Maulik zu lahihu. Hafa na oma agang hao. Why are you calling? I'm calling about your grandson, si Pedro. Did you know that he's been using dynamite to fish? What? You know, explosives. They kill the reef and all the sea life. It's illegal and also tie respect to. Pedro? Oh, boy, better watch it, or I will sound like it a ganya, like I did when he was seven years old. Mangi gui pagu? Where is he right now? He's, he's over here, barbecuing in the back. Okay, I am coming right now. Tony, take me fun to the... Did you just snitch on Pedro? Snitch? Crystal, itasi kulansinanata. The ocean is like our nana. If someone was hurting your nana, would you just stand by and let it happen? If we don't practice responsible fishing and protect the ocean, she'll stop taking care of us. And then what will you eat with your wife in a denny? That's right, Will. There are many other ways to practice responsible fishing. That if your net or line gets stuck, you don't cut it. You take the time to untangle it so that the taninus and hagen or the dolphins and turtles don't get stuck in it and get injured or die. I have to admit, being a responsible fisherman is very rewarding. And if we all do our part, sumen lala itasita sempre, our ocean will flourish. And maybe all the animals that are endangered will come back. Magahid, Will, we all need to do our part and take care of Itasi and practice responsible fishing. This includes not killing turtles because they're endangered and releasing fish that are too small back into the ocean. Or retrieving your tangled fishing line and nets and not using illegal fishing methods like bleach and dynamite. Satada respetu. If we all work together, we can restore Itasi to the way it once was. Guahu si Shayana Alvarez. My name is Shayana Alvarez and this is my dad. This is a typical Saturday. My dad wakes me up before the sun rises and we prepare for a day on the water. I love Saturdays because I get to spend time in the ocean and with my dad. Just like our ancestors, we fish with our family and friends. Everyone does their part. Fishing is a part of my culture and has been passed down from generation to generation. Guys, we're gonna leave in about five minutes, man. Heading out. Yo, we'll head down there. Go ahead. My dad teaches me to take care of the ocean, to pick up my trash and to share with others. This is our tradition. I can't explain to you how much I love the ocean. 
I know that when I am in the water, I feel at peace and I'm happy. Guahu si she on her avers. Pescado zu. Tao ta ta si, tao ta ta si. Fresh the two, fresh fresh the two, like fresh. Oh my god! I got so excited. Nihi is made possible through the generous support of viewers like you. To make a donation, visit nihikids.org. Donations are tax deductible. Nihi is produced by Duk Duk Goose, Inc., a registered Guam 501c3 charity. Connect with at Nihi Kids on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube.